So the man got to work, searching high, searching low, till he found a little guy that would make her heart glow. It makes me want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> me too. One, two, three, your heart start beating. Your room stays quiet, my inside, I'm screaming. Do I feel love? Hey guys. hey guys. So today we have a really special treat for you guys, and I'm really excited about it. It's something that I worked on for quite a while and gave it to Ellen as a present. It is a book. A story of us. Yeah, so this is kind of a condensed version of our whole story. You will learn more about that, I guess, the more we... Uh, and we can kind of like pause and kind of explain a couple parts so yeah, it makes better sense. that might be helpful. But it does rhyme, so... It'll be really good and I think you guys will enjoy it. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks. Make sure to subscribe and to leave us a thumbs up and leave us a comment to let us know if you liked it. I love writing Ellen little notes and sometimes those notes take the form of poetry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love them. Yeah. And I wrote her a lengthy one one year that was, I thought, really good. It really was. It really means a lot to me. It's near and dear. Um, it's a storybook that Quay wrote. Well, I actually wrote her the poem first and gave it to her as a gift before. And then for another gift, I made it into a storybook. Yes, so we are so excited to share the story with you. So we're just going to hop on in. Okay, so the name of the book is called Smith Party of Three. A story of love, sickness, and a puppy. Um, that has been our hashtag forever is Smith Party of Three. And of course our three is our dog, Mac. Everybody gets confused and thinks that's a baby, but it's actually our dog. Because he counts. He does. <laughs> His life matters. Yes. <laughs> Making you life matters. <laughs> All right. So do we want to show them the book? Yeah, okay. we can. So starting off in the book, I have a couple about the authors. I'm not going to read that because it's just nonsense. But it's kind of cute because like, um, he act we met in a college course. And it was an English class that we met in, and so our English teacher actually wrote a little bit of the book. Yeah, like a little blurb. Um, I have a, one from a friend that just calls me a prolific author. Um, one from John Piper, may or may, may or may have not been him. One from someone Kardashian, this is for Ellen. Uh -huh. And then one from Alicia, Alicia Massingill, our college professor, in whose class we fell in love. Yes, so thank you, Miss Massingill. Miss Massingill, was that supposed to be whom or who? Let me know. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's start the story, and hopefully you guys can see this. If not, I'm just going to try not to poke Ellen in the eye. There once was a boy named Quay. Say hello there. There once was a boy named Quay who was looking for love in every way. He looked and looked for 19 years. But not one could he find, and this brought him to tears. I am so sad. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> so sad. But then one day in that old weary chapel, he saw so much beauty that he started to babble. What? 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 Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love that part. Look at me and Ellen. So Koi and I, that's where we first met was in the chapel. And yeah. that's when Quay first noticed me because I was... Um, laughing, I think. Yeah, and she started smiling and it just like really caught me and I was attracted to her. <laughs> Fun times. <laughs> Back to the book. Her hair was long and her smile so sweet. She's a princess for sure, his heart said with glee. And that's her beside a castle, of course. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> My home. Now week after week, they dated indeed. Then they stood at the altar and made their creed. <laughs> Now married they would love each other and God. Ready for a plot twist? But the princess got sick and she needed a dog. Okay, quick interjection. We had only been married like what? A week, maybe? We had just got back from our honeymoon and I had gone to the gym and worked out really hard and then tried to get in my car and couldn't move. And so my mom was praying one day and she felt like the Holy Spirit told her that I needed to get tested for tuberculosis. And I was like crap that means I have it so I went got tested and I came back positive and I was super super sick and I had to go through treatment for almost a year 
And so um, I was so lonely and like falling asleep all the time mm -hmm. that Quay actually got me a double, he got me Mac. Yeah. So Mac is like my little. So the treatment they had her on was like really, it's really hard on your whole body and it just uh, stripped your body of vitamins. So that made her really tired. Yeah, and like, yeah, and I was like losing my hair and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we got Mac, that's when we got Mac. Yeah, who's our, so that's what, our angel that baby. was the plot twist. But the princess got sick and she needed a dog. So the man got to work, searching high, searching low, till he found a little guy that would make her heart glow. It makes me want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> really you want to cry? A little bit, a little tear of happiness. That... <laughs> Was it really that funny? I have a heart too, come on. I do have a Grinch heart sometimes. Oh gosh, that's good. <laughs> All right, back to the book. Okay. Oh, I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right. Come on, Mac. <laughs> now this just begins their adventure in life, and that boy prays every day, "Thank you, God, for my wife." But this ain't the end. There's still much to see. But for now, they're content being Smith, party of three. I love that. Really, I think you made this for our kids, right? Yeah, I, kids I mean, I wanted it. to do it for, like, I made Ellen the poem, and I decided to illustrate it because I thought, oh, this would be really cool to read to our kids, so they have, like, a condensed version of our story. Yeah, and I, like, and have just, tears in my eyes. It's, it's fun just to read. Like, yeah, I love reading it. Ellen asks me sometimes to just come read it to her. Yeah. And I don't mind because it's fun to read. Yeah. But um, the book just didn't stop there. I know. Because... The end was really not the end. I decided to put a little word from the author that said I love Ellen. Um, and some other funny stuff and tomfoolery and shenanigans. But I also decided to include a bonus story. Yeah. And we love this one too because yeah. it's about Mac and there's a little well, Yorkie like, looking dog on there too. Yeah, it's like about Mac's personality because we wanted... To have this for our kids too. Yeah, and this is, we figured it is a fun thing to add in the book. Yeah. I'm going to make some more of these one day and we'll share that with you guys. Yeah. If you come around. So, let's get into a story about Mac. Watch Mackie eat. Watch Mackie jump. Watch Mackie scratch. <laughs> thump, thump, thump. Watch Mackie play. Watch Mackie sleep. Watch Mackie fetch. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> he has like little balls that he loves that squeak. your ball, yeah. yeah. Watch Mackie run. Watch Mackie in the dark. He's laying there beside Ellen. Anytime in I'm in bed, Mac is in there he too. He loves the bed. He loves when Ellen's in the bed. Yeah, he will snuggle up to me all night long. Watch Mackie in the dark. Watch Mackie protect. Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> and he does. Anytime anyone's approaching the room that it's not me, he's... On high alert. Yes. So Mackie likes to play, and Mackie loves it calm. But most of all, Mackie loves Hen's mom. <laughs> That's my favorite, because he does. I I'm, think the first time I read that to you, actually cried. I did cry, yeah. because Mac is our, literally, like, a gift from God. Mac was, um, like Quay said, I was really sick when we got Mac. And um, he was the last puppy. And to this day, I don't know why he was the last dog. And yeah. he was like, what, an $800 dog? And Quay called them and said, hey, I'm looking for a dog. They had another dog we were actually going to get. But no, they that sold was that one. cheaper. And that's the one I was inquiring about. And they said, we have one other one, but he's $800. And we didn't have that kind of money. We had literally just got married. Yeah. Um, and they were like, well, how much money do you have? And Quay said, well, I have about $200. And they're like, oh, sorry, we can't do that. Well, they ended up calling us back. Um, and they said, listen, we never do this, but we're leaving town. And we have this one puppy left. And we really don't want to pay anybody to take care of him. So if you give us the $200, we'll give you the dog. And Mac is a full-bred Yorkie. He has papers and everything. Um, and we just didn't know how, what a gift Mac was when we first got him. It makes me want to cry. 
Yeah, he's been there for some like really tough stuff that's going on. But. Yeah, he's definitely like our sweet angel, and not everybody's gonna understand that because I feel like not everybody knows what it's like to really like love your dog. But you know, Mac is he's a gift, and we are so thankful for the gift that he is. Yeah, I don't think there's been a day that we've had him that I haven't laughed. Dude, he so. brings us so much joy. Yeah, he's, he really he's a does. Good guy. He's like, actually laying down right now, just munching on a bone, like yeah. a deer antler or something that I got him. So he's just a sweet boy, and we're really thankful for him because I really do feel like he, like God, could not have given us a more perfect dog. Couldn't have done it because he was just, you know, we've had multiple miscarriages, and Mac was there through all of it, and he was just a huge comfort to me, especially. Um, and so we just have a close connection with Max. So just being able to have this little book that we can read to our children one day is just really special to me. Because yeah. I'm a sucker for the memories. All about the memories and the sentimental stuff. So thank you for making that book for me. You're it's welcome. still my I favorite. It. I love reading it too. We appreciate you guys watching. Um, like I said, hopefully we'll have more books like this coming. Yeah. And I'm excited to share more of our lives with you guys. Yep. So thank you guys so much for watching. We look forward to the next one. Bye, guys. All right. If you want to uh, pick up one of my other books, look for them on Amazon.com. One of them is called Toilet Tells, Boom Goes the Dynamite. The other one is called The Office Bromance. Nice. Cool. One of them is called Cheese, The Art of Cutting. <laughs> one of them is called... Ron Swanson, Manhood. My all-time favorite that I've written is beer. Just drink it. Uh, another good one is Wife's, Wife Tells. Fun stories about life with Ellen. Another one, Plunger Euphemisms. Uh, my second all-time favorite, Poking Fun at Fundies. And... <laughs> a good... This one's inappropriate. Massage. <laughs> I forgot I put this one down here. Massage chair. What the heck is happening to my bottom? <laughs> Backstory. Me and Ellen uh, got massages one time, and there was a butt massager in there too, and it was a little violating. 